as you can tell a motorcycle just pulls all the way up in here to the very back of the building guys welcome back to the channel so today we just dived right into this video and pulled up over here to the new goon squad garage of course on the track hawk because that sucker was immobilized for a little bit we threw on a brand new tire on it and we ripped clean over here and i gotta say that thing is an absolute beast but it's over here for only one thing and that's what dude for sale dude that is right we're getting ready to sell that sucker but we're not going to give it away for like a super good deal we want top dollar out of the thing because it is unique still will be a good deal but not just super cheap you know yeah, what i not mean super cheap the hellcat we gave that thing practically away but oh you goodness. know what's ripping the streets having a grand old time this thing right here is next and we just got to get rid of it because we got some new inventory coming in that dude. is right but this thing just needs a little clean so that's why it's over here we'll clean the inside the outside and just look at that that's just one of a kind track hawk right there these suckers hold their value but you know what it's time to get rid of it and let somebody else enjoy it because we don't want our cars just sitting around yeah dude. i mean we drive it from time to time but you know what this thing is just absolute blast and i can't believe how easy of a car it is to drive it's so smooth. comfortable it's like a cadillac man. very better, smooth dude. car yeah probably better than cadillac because sure. that wine that you get oh my goodness dude i almost don't want to sell it dude we can't talk about it like that because it makes us want to keep it but For sure <laughs> we're getting rid of it but anyways what we started doing over here at the garage is ripping apart our brand new porsche build right here we ripped off the fender the front bumper the hood the door and we're just trying to make sure there's no hidden damages and we're just like seeing all the components and we're looking at how like some of this stuff just like comes together pretty interesting how that headlight popped out dude special tool or something yeah, like special that? tool that goes up from the inside and it just pops a whole headlight out which is super what awesome is this uh, i don't dude. know that's probably for the ac system oh, right yeah, here i mean right nothing too too serious behind here just a few little brackets yes, honestly very dude. good signs dude so that's just awesome right there we're definitely going to order all these parts and this porsche is going to turn out absolutely insane because we're still going with the gt2 rs entire body kit it's gonna yes. be wild and we man. already got something working on it right yep. now that's going to be super epic so we're super excited exactly dude. all that stuff is on the way pretty much already but anyways as we were tearing stuff apart we decided to cut the fender up into a bunch of little bits and pieces we got 40 miami blue porsche pieces that we decided to sign and just basically instead of throwing it away we turned it into art for you guys dude look at that this looks what? absolutely amazing dude uh, of course the miami blue is amazing and then our signatures and we got like little pieces and stuff we 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 kind of like made the edges a little dull so they're not too sharp but dude this is a piece of art like you said dude, dude. piece of art piece of history very rare there's only 40 we might cut up a few more who knows if we have time because this right here took us at least like three to four hours of our time very back breaking back aching yes but it was worth it i think that turned out really cool yeah and we didn't want to just scrap this stuff yeah. i mean this is just something that we wanted to do for you guys you know what i mean exactly. because a little piece of our history dude, right here and a little piece set of that on dude, your desk right that, there in man. your room that is just going to be unique and not only are we going to just put this on the website we're also going to include to everyone that orders one of these we're going to throw 
throw in a decal and also even a koozie right there. How about that little package deal, little dude? Little package deal, man. Something that we... This is our first time actually doing this, so this first is time. super rare, dude. Very rare stiff right here. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and throw that up on goonsquad.com. But as of right now, let's just keep on working on this Porsche. So we took a few more things apart on the car, mainly around the quarter panels. We took those intercoolers back off. That way we can expose all this because we're gonna have to get ready to pop these quarter panels off. As you can tell, it opened everything up and the quarter panel is just right there. It's basically like one layer, so it should be super simple to actually pop off, which is a good thing. And those vents were super crazy how they just worked their way around the inside of the quarter panel straight into the uh, intercoolers, which I think only the turbo vehicles have this vent right here, which is crazy but you know what it makes sense because this is the turbo has the intercooler so that's why you have to have this little vent which i think it looks really good i don't really like no vent on the porsche you know it's kind of just plain and yeah, simple some of the newer know? porsches man they just don't look right without that vent right there yeah. so definitely got to have a vent right there and as for this turbo right here it is kind of making a weird noise i remember when we drove up on here it has like it's a chirping, frog in it. i think a frog got in there somehow Something in there man it's still chirping so i want to start it up actually right now while we have those intercoolers off that way we can see if it's still chirps or if we can hear exactly where it's coming from and to make sure it fits the turbo because if it's the turbo we got to get these suckers off and send them out you know yeah, what i mean maybe like something is rubbing up against something i, I really can't tell because it does look pretty close to the engine but i highly doubt that dude but it sounds like it is like a chirp from the inside dude, dude. let's yeah, go let's just, just go ahead and start this just sucker fire up. this sucker put up man put i will i'm gonna put my ear to i wish i had a stethoscope or something you ready? yes sir Dude, that's that may be a, not a good sign right there. That's what that may be. Dude, is, you know I think I mean? that's a squirrel in there, man. <laughs> Something in there spinning. Maybe that turbo wheel, I don't know what happened. It happened whenever we were doing the launch. So maybe there was not enough oil supply and it, the, the bearing burnt out or something like that. You yeah, know what I mean? But no worries. We already talked to a few companies, one company that could actually do it and probably port it out and then we could tune it and get more horsepower yeah, out of it, dude. I believe they can fix that and then they're gonna port it, put a bigger wheel on there, make a little bit more power, a little bit more boost and have this car just running a lot dude, better. You it's know gonna what I mean? sound so oh, yeah, sick, dude. 100%. But that's pretty much all we can take apart for now until we get probably like some equipment to take out all the glass because that's the next biggest step is to get all that glass removed the windshield and stuff like that and uh i think we should just go ahead and cut up another fender i no. know this may look like a good fender over here but dude man we, we might as well just finish it off strong dude you know i'm what telling I mean? you i've seen some fenders on ebay and they sell for like a thousand bucks in this condition but you know what we're going with the gt2 rs fenders yeah man. we gotta go with the g we gotta go all out and with the gt2 and i don't think these fenders look that good with the gt2 they got that like louvered like like vent, vent right here which looks really good wow. so you know we're definitely gonna probably go with that look you so, know so let's just chop it up dude, dude. let's just go ahead quickly well not quickly let's just go ahead and chop this sucker up see if we can make some more pieces
Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here and what we have is 94 pieces of custom signed pour chart right here that we finished up last night and it took a long time to do because we don't want any sharp edges or anything like that but you know what, we got them in this box right here, they're going up on the website. So we're going to set this aside and as for the track hawk, we're going to go ahead and try to focus on that and get it nice and clean because there's like cobwebs on the inside and on the outside like in the wheel wells. I don't know how spiders get into that interior but they penetrate like through the seals. Maybe they go in through like the exhaust through the engine and in the vents or something, something like, that. like that because it's crazy how they get everywhere but you know what that's just what happens when a car sits around you know what that I mean? That is right so that, what we're gonna do right now is just go ahead and probably start with like the interior. The interior is pretty filthy and we're just gonna like vacuum it wipe it down or whatnot and then we're gonna move on to the exterior. Look at this you got a little bit of a spider cobweb right there dude. Dude they're everywhere dude. But you know what there's actually a way to get into a car through the exhaust I bet you didn't know that. You should Let me probably show, you show right them right how right, that's dude. done because that's some pretty special techniques right there, So basically, dude. when uh, you're with your buddies, you know what, in a parking lot and the car is cooled off and everything, you say, I know how to get into this to your car without a key through, through the, exhaust. the exhaust. dude. So you get in there and you start doing a couple cheat codes right here. You do this motion and you get your fingers all nice and dirty from that soot right there. And then you get your other buddy that's in on it and be like, hey, I can't do it. Can you try to do it? But I'm gonna have to cover your eyes. And you reach around, you cover his eyes like this and he's gonna have tiger stripes from your fingers. Yeah, <laughs> and he will never know. And then you're like, ah, you know what? It didn't work, dude. dude. That was one of those tricks. I don't know if a lot of people know about that that little prank right there, but back in the day, man, they they used to get us. Everybody dude. used to walk around with oh. looking like raccoons, <laughs> looking man. like raccoon or like a tiger or something like that. Super funny right there. So just play that prank on friends that don't get mad, really. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and give this sucker a nice clean, and then I think we're gonna run up to the mountain, show you guys what's going on at the house. Got done cleaning up the track hawk which that thing cleaned up perfectly but also we're about to head out up to the mountain and show you guys what's going on there we kind of had like a weird little interaction like as you can tell a motorcycle just pulls all the way up in here to the very back of the building like all the way past the track hawk and like parks kind of randomly like very odd very random we were closing down the garage door the garage door is like all, almost closed so we we're like shutting everything down and then one thing i did notice Whenever he's in, I, he's in a rush, dude. Kind of in a rush and almost drops his bike, which kind of looks like a new bike. You know, you got drive out tags. Look at this right here. That bike started rolling on its own. Good thing he didn't drop it. I mean, I don't know who this person is. I mean, we don't know anybody. He kind of asked me a few questions like, hey, first thing, can you hear it? He was just saying he wanted to build something like this, you know, I just said we kind of like built most of this building like ourselves and stuff like that. And he asked, what do we do here? Work on our own stuff. Guys, if you, if you guys are a fan, go ahead and mention that right away, you know, because we raise our suspicions around here. We're not in the best area, so we're trying to keep this whole entire thing as private as possible. I mean, this is um, our own, this is kind of like invasion of privacy almost. Yeah. Like, pull up, if you want to, pull up, pull up over there on the road maybe do honk we'll wave if we have time we'll come out there say something you know what i mean we love our fans i don't know everybody so we kind of have to raise our suspicions suspicions up because yeah. this is a very this is our facility you know what i mean that's right i mean like we're like why pull all the way over here if anything park right there or right there or well, we got a front office you know we got a front door you know you can go up to there that's where we were at honestly yeah. so it's kind of weird maybe um, we're overthinking but honestly i think we have the right to overthink because you know this is our place and that was just really unannounced. You yeah, know what I mean? and on top of that, YouTubers do do have issues like that all the time. You know, people breaking in, people pulling into their roads, pulling into the houses, stuff like that. We love all of our fans, but when you do something like that, I don't know who you are. You know, exactly. we don't know who you are. Uh, that's all private right here. So if you want to, you can drive by on the road. That's public road right there. You can honk, you can do whatever, but 
when we're, whenever we're out here working, don't pull in here. Because yeah. we're trying to pull out content for you guys, trying to, you know, just get some great yeah. stuff going. We're not always just having fun, you know what I mean? we we got to put in the work, you that know? That is right, man. I, I couldn't have said it better myself. But anyways, enough Thank of that you. right there. We're about to shut this thing down, jump in the track off. I might even jump, grab this boat with me because it's so hot, might take it out later. So we're probably going to head up to the mountain and show you guys the epicness going at the house. I'm talking about look at that dude look at that view right there we had to have those windows man dude i mean we actually called our window guy and he or he was out here and we're like do you have anything we can put right here other than those little windows and he was like i think i might got something for you do you care if they open up we're like no we don't need them to open up we got some on the side right here look what he gave wow. us dude these are absolutely this is like picture frame windows right here. It is, and these are that's very rare to be able to actually have windows in stock. Something of this caliber right here. Like, how does that even happen? Somebody like didn't need them or something? I guess they ordered, maybe sometimes ordered too much or somebody yeah. didn't like these type of windows, but this is just absolutely epic right here. Now you're gonna be able to see the amazing sunsets and everything, and that's all we needed for this house. But guys, that's pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video. We're super happy with the progress that we're making on the Porsche. Can't wait for all the parts to arrive. Super happy with all the progress over here on the house and also the shop as well we got a bunch of epic things planned so you guys are not going to want to miss out on anything so make sure your post notifications are on but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace